Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So continuing on our quest to educate more people to help them progress faster in the game so that they are less worried about the Cloud of Strife event. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks to tackle the triple stage AFK challenges. So we are back on my free to play account, Zboss top 4%, which is amazing because we are finally slightly above the pack because I'm usually at the 5 to 6% and for today I haven't used my secret techniques to get more essence so in case you guys are wondering what I'm talking about I released a video yesterday to talk about some secret techniques I use to squeeze out a little bit more heal essence which is very beneficial in the long run so I can power up my units and then help me progress faster so you guys can see the video I'll link up in a cut above or maybe you guys can see the left hand side there's a thumbnail so you guys can search it on the channel yourself so right here right we are at currently afk challenge uh 700 plus so we are afk, AFK reward 702 the triple stage challenge unlocks i think around 690 something i think 695 and the progression rewards is still like very visible you guys can still open the afk rewards and see what you'll be getting from it so the usual stage 5 and stage 10 denominator will still be the harder challenge and as you guys can see there's this uber high powered team parisa team 775 don't be too scared by it because it's actually a double team challenge so the first team is 480 and the second team is 289 so second thing is actually usually easier so you want to fill your strongest units as well as your units with the highest resonance uh, level in the first team so then you will be able to clear the second challenge pretty easily as well most of the time because as long as you have a decent second team with good enough units uh usually this won't be a problem so you need to clear both the stage in order to unlock the rewards so over here clearing both the challenges will give you one stage progression so for this one usually what i'll do is i'll start with the second challenge first and then see whether or not my second team is a lot stronger whether or not i can sort of fuse out the weaker units and then put like the stronger units in my first team but for most people i think they probably have one really powerful team and then a bunch of like pretty average units if you're somebody who is free to play or a light spender like myself so usually this very first team that you are fielding is the team that you have been using to clear your challenges up until this point so yeah that is basically it for this uh, double challenge right how you tackle it very simple always start on the second stage like i mentioned and then try to optimize your first team and see whether or not you can squeeze out every little bit of advantage and then you can try to clear this uh sort of boss stage right stage 5 stage 10 of every 10 levels so that is for the double stage challenge for this one i tried a few times and i wasn't actually able to clear the challenge so I'm going to give it a try again and then i'm going to practice what i teach i mean i'm going to practice what i uh, teach you guys so you guys can see you know how you can tackle yourself so for the for the challenge i'll start with the second stage first usually i will just let it run on auto if i think my team is strong enough so i'll just observe whether or not the units are doing a lot of damage from what i can see i can clear the challenge really easily so i'll just let the ai do their thing and then run this thing and auto so the advantage of you doing the second run first is that you can also like switch between your artifacts if like for example like this artifact is not so much needed against this stage you can use like the weaker artifact and then keep the stronger artifact for the first team so that is what i'll do second stage first and then go for the first stage so from here we're doing really well maybe star shot spell is the better one for the first stage maybe no, but we are lacking a little bit in terms of damage. Okay. Oh, wow. Corinne passed away. Okay, let, let's do it again. I think because I didn't auto early enough. Yeah, I'm just going to auto at the start. Pretty confident we can clear this. Because the power level is really similar. And my units are better quality. Some with the hero focus skill. So we are slightly better in terms of unit quality. So we should be able to do good. Heroin should get the ultimate off. Okay, yeah. It, once Heroin gets the ultimate off, we are pretty safe. I think just now Damien's heal didn't benefit my two frontliners, so they melted really easily. So Starshot spell as well as this team setup can clear the second stage. So with that, we will go to the first stage itself. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay, so just now the problem was Vala sniping off and Tendra a little bit earlier. 
Orin with the Iron Wall spell should be able to buy enough time and I think my goal is to snipe off either Heron or Parisa ASAP. Okay, let's just give this team a try. I don't manual for this by the way, because uh, I tried it just now, it didn't work out too well, so uh, I don't think autoing is the way to go for this fight. Okay, so I think I should just aim down Parisa first, because Mauler has more damage. Okay, we're gonna auto, so we get the heals up. Okay, Coco. Oh my god. Celezo finish up Coca, unfortunately. Okay, let's 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 reposition Coca a little bit. But this will make Antendra really really frail because she'll be running to the front line. And then she might die really easily to Celezo and Danny. And then Vala sniping her off. Then once Vala starts to snipe off like um and Tendra, right? She will start steamrolling from there, unfortunately. Okay, heals are kicking in. Okay, and Tendra is down, unfortunately. Okay, so now Koka is the target of choice. Can we can we bring down Henry is healing up the Arisado? Pretty unfortunate. Okay, um how about we do this? Shall we use a Lightning spell? I think we shall use a Lightning spell. So that we can try to bring the Parisa down ASAP. Although my front line will be a lot weaker. But we actually have more HP from the stats itself. So it should be fine. Bring down Parisa first. Oh, actually Vala's... Ah, no. Vala didn't hit. Yeah, I don't think this is the way to go. High wall spell is probably still the best choice here. Let's just hope that Koka doesn't get snapped off too fast. Because we need Torrent Iron Wall to store the front line so that um uh OD and the back line can do what he needs to do. Unfortunately, my OD is not Mythic Plus, so I don't have the EX weapon. Maybe I should target Vala. So that Vala doesn't do so much. Because we are a wilder team, right? And then Koka uses the ultimate. So now Oli becomes the target of Vala, unfortunately. Yeah. And Hendra cannot die too early though. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm gonna skip this challenge because I don't think I can clear it with what I have yet. Maybe later on I'll try to challenge it once I have my team leveled up. But uh, the other thing that I want to show you guys, right, is that if you cannot clear both stages together, you can't clear this stage itself. So the record will be cleared. But from there, you guys can try and error and see whether you guys can clear... Uh, the stage with whatever you have and if you cannot you guys can do the second tip which is uh, skipping off the stages right so you have three choice you don't have to tackle them linearly you can skip some of the stage if you guys can see over here this is afk stage 700 and this is afk stage 704 so i actually skipped 700 i did 701 all the way to 703 so i managed to get my rewards for the afk up all the way to 702 so what you can do is you can skip all the boss stage right all your stage 5 and stage 10s and then do the normal stage and then progress to all the higher level rewards and then use the essence booster strategy that i uploaded in yesterday's video so that you get more essence and then you can power up your units from there and then tackle the boss stage so sometimes they might seem really intimidating but it's not all that scary like for example this stage looking at a team comp with whatever i have i should be able to clear it so the goal is to remove Rowan first. Got to remove Rowan first, and then from there, Torrent should be able to carry through because the enemy is using a Lightbringer Com. So Torrent, where's my Torrent skill? A Torrent is being disabled. Unfortunately, Smokey uses a skill. Slightly slow there in terms of my reaction time. Okay, Torrent is using the ultimate. Very, very nice. Okay, and Tendra using the ultimate to draw some attention away. And boom. Oh, we did manage to remove Rowan. Got to remove Rowan first though. If not, uh, Rowan will start to charge up the ultimate for the whole team, which will make things really iffy from there. Okay, managed to remove that. So next, we put on the poison on Heroin. Once Heroin is stacking up on all the damage stacks. Okay, Rowan is down. Now we throw the ultimate to Kruger. So we got the poison stack on uh, Merrily, by the way. Keep on confusing Heroin and Merrily. Yeah, I think we got it. Should be able to finish this. Because the last two units, they are the light bringers, and then Torrent should be able to war them for a little bit. 
Okay, we got it. Nice. So as you guys can see, right, I skipped my stage 700. And then I can choose this stage because as you guys can see, the power is actually lower. And we are not fighting all the standard units, right? So we can definitely skip it and then go to the next one. So looking at this, since we cleared the one just now, just take a look at the team com. Who should I target? This single enemy. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to aim the AOE damage dealer. Should be okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Odie's hitting pretty hard. Okay, Smokey's heal is up. Koka ultimate up soon, please. Okay. Okay, Koka's ultimate up. Okay, kind of want to remove the Odie first, because if not, this unit... I mean, Odie's going to hurt in a long fight. In a long drawn-out fight. Orange still holding up really well. Smokey uses the ultimate again. Amazing stuff. Okay, Koka. Okay, Koka is down. Okay, I don't think we can clear this. Maybe Antendra died a little too early. Yeah, maybe. Let's let's do this. Maybe Antendra shouldn't rush to the front. We just let Torrin do the tanking and then Antendra buy some attention with the ultimate whenever her ultimate is up. Okay, we managed to kill the enemy. And then we're gonna poison OD because she's I mean OD is quite frail. So Antendra surviving this one is Definitely helping me clear the stage. Should be able to auto, right? Should be. Yeah, okay. Koka got the ultimate out with 5 units. We are winning this. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, that's it for 706. Okay, we are done with 706. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys with continuing to do more stage, but... Uh, you guys get what I mean? If you cannot clear the tougher stages, you can ignore it first. Try to challenge the other stages that could be easier so you can secure more of these rewards. And then, when you reach the important stages, which is the stage 5 as well as stage 10, as you guys can see, you get more essence. So using your essence booster will be more efficient on these levels. So yeah, that's just simple tips and tricks for the triple stage challenge. Hopefully it helps you push contents even harder right hopefully you guys can get to song of uh, strife smoothly thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more and i'll see you guys again in the next video bye guys